again, buy them because you like them. Don't buy them because you think it's gonna be worth something in 20 years. And well, I think they'll last forever. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle. So I wanna answer some questions related to Rainbow High that I posted a couple of weeks ago on my stories. I'm like, what do you guys wanna see? And people were like, I wanna hear about these comments. And one of them was about Rainbow High. I'm gonna be unboxing some Rainbow High dolls today and answering your questions. And one of the things that people were messaging me about was the future of Rainbow High or just a lot of Rainbow High questions in general, especially right now since I am super obsessed with Rainbow High. I feel like every time there's a new Rainbow High item, whether it's a doll or a, a, recently I got like this like tin to put like doll pieces in. It mainly has like stickers and markers in it, but I'm going to use it for doll pieces. So anything Rainbow High I am totally obsessed with. And my favorite one was the future of Rainbow High. And then also people were asking, will Rainbow High uh, be worth anything in the future? Like do, what is my projections, I guess, or predictions for the future of Rainbow High? And that's one thing with, when it comes to a lot of doll collecting, I mean, any collecting, make sure you like the item that you're purchasing because if it's not worth anything in like 10, 20, 30 years from now, you're stuck with those items. And, <laughs> you know, and I don't want people to buy stuff just because they think it's going to be worth something. Uh, you know, I think that's a lot of misconception where a lot of people, when I tell them, oh, I'm a collector, they're like, oh, so you save this for money or you like save the items to resell later or you're, you know, this is a business. And yes, doll collecting, I have turned into, you know, being a content creator and kind of shifting that into a business in that direction. But my sole purpose of buying a doll is not to go into it just to make money off of it. Uh, I mean, there are people who out there who do turn those into businesses, whether you want to call them a reseller or, you know, someone who, you know, I don't want to say it like has like a toy store and resells toys because that is different to me than someone who straight up is a reseller, depending if you're selling new product or if you're selling vintage product. But for me, a lot of it is I'm buying the dolls because I like the dolls. I like looking at the dolls. So to answer the question, oh, do I think Rainbow High will be worth a ton in the future? No, I, again, I don't want to say no or yes, because obviously none of us know. If you asked me 10 years ago, oh, do you think Monster High dolls will be going for $100 a piece one day, even with no shoes? No, <laughs> I didn't think that. When Monster High was coming out, I was like, oh, these are really cute gothic looking dolls. I really like them. But I never went in going, yes, I'm going to buy all these dolls and then flip them. Like, no, like that never was in my mind. And obviously I, ke I keep and I've kept many of my Monster High dolls. Have I sold some? Yeah, I need the money. I'm an adult. Like <laughs> adult things happen, life happens. And, you know, obviously I shift my collection around where I'm like, okay, I'm really into Rainbow High right now. So I'll let some Monster High go to kind of balance out the space and the money <laughs> because, you know, Toy prices have gone up over the past decade. So yes, don't buy anything because you think it's gonna be worth something. And personally, Rainbow High, it's so hard. I think now in the world of collecting, so many people are buying so much more than they did 10 years ago. So I think there are more Rainbow High dolls out there. Will it be worth as much as like what Monster High is going for now? Uh, if I had to guess, and this is a pure guess, I would say probably not unless something insane happens where the line randomly just quits and people become extremely nostalgic for it in like 10 years. Uh, but overall though, I, I, Monster High is just a little different because they've obviously had the reboot. I think that caused that big resurgence to get people to buy more. Uh, but I don't know if Rainbow High will be as big or as worth, again, worth is all perspective, as much as what we're seeing now with the rise of prices for a lot of dolls, whether it's Bratz or like Monster High. So recently, thank you so much, shout out to Nudie. You are so sweet in the doll community. Thank you so much for being a positive ray of light in this community. And I appreciate anything you ever do for me. And I just want you to know that I appreciate all of your kindness so much. <laughs> um, but she helped me get some more Rainbow High dolls, which, ah, oh, yes my addiction. <laughs> I'll say it. I'll admit it. All right. Do I want to admit that it's a problem? No. But will I admit that I am addicted to them? Yes. So today I have some extra Rainbow High dolls because I think I already posted, yes, the first three from series five. And now I've got the last three from series five, which is going to include these beauties. They're so pretty. So I have Michelle, I have Victoria, which are just absolutely stunning. And then I also have Aiden, which at Target, it was hard to find one of him where his hair wasn't super like 
<laughs> like, mm, you know, because his hair is a little messy at this one, but it's not as bad because some were just like smashed up in the back and the front and it was just really wild. Hers, uh, so that when I go to Target, because I pretty much only buy my dolls now at Target, I very rarely, like, I don't like going into Walmart, so I try not to go there as often. Um, it was hard to find them all looking great. I mean, they're all going to have slight little flaws. Do I feel like Series 5 has more flaws than some of the other series of the dolls? Like, some of them, yes. <laughs> um, with her, like a lot of them, their nails weren't completely painted all the way. And then their lips were different. Like some had bigger lips than others. And it was very strange. So I got the one that overall looked the best. And then with Victoria, some of them had the blushing on the lips really weird. Some didn't have any blushing on the lips. It was kind of weird. And then some had the darker eyebrows because there is a variant with a lighter and darker eyebrow for Victoria. So when you're shopping around for them, don't just pick up the first one. Definitely look at a bunch of Victoria's so you can pick the overall face that you really like. This one, I feel like she has more like of a lighter medium brow, but they are shorter than some of the other dolls. And I don't know if I like that or not, but when I unbox her, we'll take a closer look at that. And then obviously her freckles and everything. Like she's just so cute. But yes, the lips and the eyebrows is what you have to look for when you're looking for Victoria at the store because sometimes they're a little messed up. I don't know. Mm -mm. All right, so let me unbox these and let's go into some of your questions. Okay, so I got them all out of the box and <laughs> their hair on a few of them. Ooh, okay. A lot of product. Um, we're just gonna go into Aiden first off because I do really like the male dolls. I feel like there's a lot of like split when it comes to some of the Rainbow High characters. Like they just, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Like this one, for example, like. Aesthetic wise, cute, shoes, cute, outfit, cute, hair, okay, well, mm. uh, I just feel like, I don't know why they chose to do this to the back of the head for the, is this, is this what it looks like in the cartoon? Like, I don't understand why the hair has to look like that. I would have rather it all slicked up and forward and not have this back here. So I've seen a lot of people restyle it, wash it, fix it, and it looks so much better. I am concerned that mine, the neck peg is messed up because look, like you can see some like plastic edges back here. And then look, he's, his head, when it goes back, look, it's loose. Like his head is like broke, I think. And then when he's forward, he's fine. He's pretty stiff and then he can turn but I think his, he's too high on his neck peg because when he goes back, his head goes loose. So he can't really have full rotation. And I checked with the other dolls that I have here and it's like, I think it's just him. I think he has like a messed up little peg in his head or something. But his face up though looks the best out of the ones that were at Target. So I'm not complaining in that extent at all. Like his face up looks good. He doesn't obviously have a lot of makeup because he's very neutral, but the hair, could use a wash and some love. I'm not a great restyler. I've tried on a lot of dolls. I'm getting better, but I'm not great. And I haven't restyled short hair yet. So for me, this might be a challenge. I do like how he's posed hand in the pocket. I do like that they went with like the clear shoes. Like that part I think is amazing that they're see-through boots and you can see the printing of the sock through it and they have real laces. Um, I would have liked this to have been a real chain. It's plastic. And that for me was a shocker because I feel like with Rainbow High, the level of execution is always so high. I do like the iridescent. See how the material has a little bit of like an iridescent sheen to it. Kind of like almost like snake print, but not. That I really do enjoy. And the shirt is a simple shirt that just says rainbow on it so nothing too crazy with the shirt and the necklace is plastic so I would have liked to have seen a metal chain or a different type of necklace on him but overall though I think he's super super cute I love the boots the best but I still feel like his outfit's very simple I don't know I'm not as in love with him as I was with some of the other male characters in Rainbow High uh, I just feel like I don't know I don't know again he looks like the character the hair I'm not sure about but it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not hundred percent with that one. I'm not hundred percent with that one. <laughs> um, oh, but they all come with, of course, stands and combs and his is going to be a grayish color with glitter. And then I'll show all the accessories at the end because the accessories are very repetitive. So I'll show you those at the end. So Michelle, oh, stunning, stunning. I am so, see, initially, if you watch all of my videos, I was saying like, I'm only going to get the first three and then wait for them to go on sale or something. And then like I said, nudie was so sweet and, um, help me get the rest of them. And now I'm like, 
I'm so glad I got all of them because they're just so beautiful. Like just so, so beautiful. Like this color is just pop. Like this just pops in your face. I love it. It's bold. Her lipstick, beautiful. Eyes, stunning. I like her little baby hairs and the way she's just styled. Now the only concern is that she has a ton of... Do you hear how hard that is? That's the hair. <laughs> I'm not hitting plastic, I'm hitting hair. And it's just so crispy, and obviously this is box hair, so it's very flat. I've seen so many people real restyle it. I th I'm gonna probably mispronounce your handle, but it's doll, doll Dolmaverse, doll, Dolmaverse, oh my gosh. Ah, I'm the worst with usernames. Um, Alfie from Doll, doll Universe, well, it's supposed to be like Doll Universe, but it's Doll Dolmaverse, that one. Um, restyled her with bangs and her hair flipped out. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. So great. Um, I feel like, I don't know if I like it better than just having the no bangs, but this crispy look is not going to work for me. Like, I definitely want to attempt to wash her hair. Even if it's just washing it and having it straight, I'd rather it be softer. I get it for the box purpose to have it styled in the box and a lot of it, but she has a lot of product on her hair. Appearance-wise, though, when it comes to, like, the outfit, mm -mm -mm. yes, 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 100%. The boots with the clear heel, oh, I love it. And this is fabric, like, hello, yes, we love this. And this stretch fabric in the dress, like very futuristic mixed with a little bit of 2000s fashion, but definitely futuristic-esque for sure. I love the R here in the middle. And then if you take her off her stand, which is a very bright orange, her jacket is clear, it's so good so good like i cannot tell you how good okay on the back it says uh rainbow high since 2020 i love that it's clear so it's a little hard to see but it says rainbow high since 2020 printed on the back of the jacket and if you look really fast the high since 2020 is in black and the rainbow part is in yellow so if you look fast it just looks like she said says high since 19 high since 2020 <laughs> so hmm. they probably should have put all of the letters in one color versus just the high since 2020 part but you know there's words back there they did put all the words it's just you don't see the yellow very well and then on the front it has words where it says sparkle all over it and then she has these massive look at these claws like i live for an acrylic and she is just serving these nails these are so long these are definitely when they're bendable. Um, they're definitely up there with the Shadow High Twins. Like, I love her nails. Absolutely favorite on this doll. Love the nails and the fabric because the fabric has like that iridescent glow to it. She does have this really cool orange belt. She's just working. She is literally doing so many things right now. I love it. Like, ah, uh, she is just so beautiful. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm so, I was like, no, the other ones are still, mm, maybe she's my favorite from the series now. I think having her out of the box really, because I, I initially was like, okay, yes, orange, I love it. It pops on her. But out of the box, I'm just like, wow, she is so pretty. Even on the arms, look, it says, it says rainbow high and all the lettering on there. Hopefully you can see that. And it says the same thing on both sleeves. It just says rainbow high on there, but it's so cute. Oh, I love her. She's very beautiful. And I like that they didn't go with like orange eyeshadow. They went with a silver eyeshadow to go with the orange lip. I think balances that out very beautifully. And then we have Victoria, who is just <laughs> the opposite of a really bright orange. Uh, very demure, like very soft and delicate. And if you watch Melissa's video, I agree with her. This is just such a beautiful, soft, doll like the color is just so beautiful like they didn't go super crazy with it and her outfit is just very like I don't know I feel like I know this girl like I feel like she <laughs> is a singer songwriter she's just again very just I don't know how to describe it delicate 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 there you go and I love her freckles I love that they're giving us again something different I feel like with Rainbow High we see so many different things that they're adding whether it's elements of different fashion and like the long nails and stuff like that and with her seeing a doll with freckles like this like I have friends who have lots of freckles so it's cool to see a doll that's representing that I mean I would still like to see more hair textures I think that's something a lot of us Rainbow High collectors are saying. <laughs> um, I mean, we've seen it a little bit in a few dolls, but not as much. Most of the dolls tend to have like long wavy hair, uh, you know, with like a 
wavy like with a little bit of curl like not really like textured hair and that's something I would like to see just to have more variety because I feel like people have very different hair um and I would like to see a female presenting character with short short hair like this one like obviously like with Michelle she has shorter hair but I would like to see that so I wonder if like eventually Rainbow High will do that like on like a cute like buzz cut type of I don't know lots of ideas lots of ideas but going back to Victoria though I like her makeup is very very soft and I like that they did the lips like now people did have mixed opinions on the lips when we first saw them you know and again depending on how you got them painted like if you found one that like this one looks pretty good like if you had some that were just two dark spots on the mouth it looked a little weird like something was wrong uh, but this one actually looks really good really soft I love her I love her hair too it's just this beautiful multiple colors like I know it doesn't look like it but there's blonde there's almost a very light pink and a very light almost has like an orangish tint to it it's hard to describe but there's definitely three tones of hair color in there and I like the little braids it gets very just delicate soft the earrings are really pretty and different the outfit I personally would never wear but I could see her wearing it you know I feel like that really works and her shoes are cute like they're not over the top but they really work with the outfit you know what I mean and then she's got some loose hair that needs to get trimmed there <laughs> I mean I like even to the accenting of the outfit there's little pearls and embroidery 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 embroider that and it's just all over the skirt like I really I love this like look there's little petals of flowers on there like they did a she looks like a cake I don't know like a cupcake so pretty out of these three I really don't know which one's my favorite I would have to say poor Aiden <laughs> I know you can't see the table but Aiden is just like I have didn't even mean to do it I sat him facing away standing on the corner of the table he's just like no you didn't do anything wrong it's okay <laughs> I don't know out of the three which one I like the best I would have to say I really love Michelle a lot but Aiden I don't know something about him I just there's some he needs something I don't know what he needs but I feel like with the other ones especially with Michelle is so elevated like there's plastic there's different materials like her boots have clear heels like there's so much going on and he has clear boots and I don't know the jacket's cool but the plastic chain is kind of losing me on that one a little bit and his hair again I've seen so many of you on Instagram restyle him and he looks fabulous out of the box and I think his neck is broke and that's kind of I don't know we'll see I'll have to mess with it a little more maybe push his head on better and now oh let me show you accessories before I forget now they've been I'm so glad they come with things. I do miss the second outfits. I've talked about this before where I was like, oh my gosh, I need, I miss the second outfits. But I'm glad that they still come with something. They just come with a lot of the same things. Um, with Aiden, we get sunglasses, a laptop, a cell phone with the case, which I love that they give us the cases, and a uh, thermos, which I like the phones. I think the phones are cute. I like that this one's showing like their FaceTiming. The glasses are kind of whatever and then with Michelle and Victoria we also get cell phones which I like a big fan of the cell phones I like that we can intermix the cases but they come with makeup palettes they come with sunglasses and sewing machines and bloaters like I feel like it's stuff that we've seen with the other dolls I just hope that with this wave they did okay well we're gonna throw out the sewing machine the hair dryer the makeup palettes so then in the next wave of dolls let's say they still don't give us another outfit but give us different accessories so that the people don't keep getting the same accessories <laughs> which i know in their mind they're like okay well if a kid gets one of these they're going to get just one doll right or two dolls maybe max right their parents maybe they are buying all of them so they're like okay well they'll have a few accessories of each whatever but for collectors we're getting all of them and now we have like 30 laptops which again could be worse we could be getting nothing but i just hope they really do keep pumping out the phones with the cases i think that is and I like them on like social media and like listening to their own music and stuff and like this one's like supposed to be on Instagram yeah it's like on Instagram you know so that's cute and then they come with the extra hangers which I saw a lot of people coming that yes uh, you know they're probably gonna do fashion packs it just looks that we have to pay probably like a ten dollar price point for another fashion or more when we used to just get it with the doll but <laughs> I don't know what else to say I mean that's kind of where we're at right now with doll world inflation and everything and then I'm wondering will that affect going back to answering some of your questions the rainbow high value going forward will the first few waves of dolls that came with second outfits be worth more than 
series five or the other future series of Rainbow High. I don't know. Again, buy them because you like them. Don't buy them because you think it's going to be worth something in 20 years. And well, I think they'll last forever. I mean, with any doll line, they have a run. You know, some have longer than others. So obviously, look at Barbie. I mean, Barbie will never go away, and I hope she doesn't. But then you look at lines like Monster High, or ones that are even shorter, for example, like, you know, Novi Stars, which is now getting a little bit of like a resurgence in the doll community of people talking about. That was here, gone and done, and real fast. So for Rainbow High to already be out three years, this will be its third year that's a decent run and I hope it keeps going because they are very creative whether it's super long nails freckled skin <laughs> or haircuts that need some help I don't know you know I mean at least they're giving us something all a little bit different and at least they do have a lot of colors in the rainbow to play off of and add different colors so I hope it doesn't go anywhere from a personal take but like we've seen in all toy world things things tend to run out unless they become so unless they can really evolve with the times or stay alive with the times as Barbie has done. Even though the quality is not there for the Playline dolls, Barbie's still there because of the name recognition and she speaks to a lot of people. Rainbow High though, I feel like it's one of those things where I really love how colorful they are and high fashion and their intricacy. But the average parent buying a doll will still stick at like a 10 to $15 price point and just grab a Barbie sometimes. So it's one of those things where I'm like, Will the collectors be able to keep Rainbow High alive forever? That's, I think, a good question to say. So throw in the comments below, what do you think of the future of Rainbow High? I, like I said, I personally hope it doesn't go away because I really do enjoy them. And until next time, I will try to answer more of your questions going into my future videos. <laughs> Make sure to check out more from me in the description below. And I am still doing auctions on whatnot where I'll be doing some fun little giveaway things and also selling items on there from my past collections to keep buying new stuff. So until next time, check out all the links in the description. Bye everybody. Bye.